Hey guys, Janus here and today in this video of Excess Heroes, it's time to review our very own Fate Core Liffy. Yes, you heard me right, our little girl Liffy has finally received her first Fate Core upgrade and let's see if her new skill sets are going to be helpful in the current meta contents or not. Alright, so let's get this started. Looking into her artwork, she looks pretty good. I would say pretty wifey material indeed in my opinion. I mean like she looks pretty petite, alright? Okay, there you go. Anyways, now let's start talking about the notice right away, which says Fate Core Chance Increase Astral Idol Liffy Recruit. The period is going to be starting after the maintenance, that is going to be tomorrow till January 27th, Wednesday 2021 p.m. 7.59 UDC time. As usual, her banner is also going to last for a total of one week. Main hero, you can recruit hero plus Fate Core with a higher probability than the premium recruit main. C is a black Fate Core hero unit, that means she's going to drop at a chance of 0.7% chance from her own banner. And you can get her for free after 19 multi summons in her banner, okay? So there we go guys. And now let's start talking about the Fate Core ability right over here. Attack is going to be boosted by 86 points, defense by 54 points, health by 292 points and the combat power by a total of 16,200 points which I would say is pretty average. Okay, for a black Fate Core hero unit it's pretty average. And now it's time to talk about the skill effects. So first of all let's start talking about the passive skill which is known as the focus fire and damn oh damn look at the amount of text written right over here it's so low. <laughs> Man, after reading the passive skill effect of Fate Core April. <laughs> this one looks so bad. Okay. Afflicts target with the focus fire mark and decreases the dodge block for one round on the basic attack. Can be quite helpful, but not really that super duper awesome in my opinion, but pretty helpful indeed. All right. Uh, little star. Special. At the beginning of a round, reduces received damage by 10% for each living ally except the caster and reduces the upcoming damage by up to 40% because the total number of other allies that you can have in a team is 4, including yourself, a total of 5, right? So that is it. So basic math, 40%. And if you're asking me, is it really good? I would say for the personal survival rate, definitely it's pretty good. I mean like she's a chaos unit. And she really has squishy its stats, so definitely uh, this reduction in damage is quite helpful for her indeed, alright? For her to survive even further. So I would say pretty good out there guys, pretty good out there. Uh, in combination with the block effects, definitely she will have much better time in surviving the content. So there we go guys, uh, sadly it will not allow her to deal more damage against the opponents out there, okay? Just a survival stuff out here, and I would say it's pretty good enough it's a supportive utility ability right over there okay just for the personal it's a selfish stuff and i've got nothing else to say about it so pretty like it's average stuff out here next is going to be the active skill number one sound of drill it says it requires two mana so that's pretty good uh all deal 63 percent damage to all enemies all right so it's an aoe damage with only two mana cost requirement definitely you cannot expect a lot of damage coming out from this skill right over here okay so yeah that's that and over time fake chorus the target dealing 39 percent damage every turn for two freaking turns all right so it's a dot damage uh well she does not belong to the Synergy 1, <laughs> right? Uh, meaning like because uh, in Synergy 1, the units really do have that uh, effect that actually allows them to improve the uh, dot damage on the enemies by up to 100%, right? So, well, in this case right over here, guys, this dot damage is not really going to be really that problematic for the opponents out there. So that is it guys, I would say it's pretty average skill right over here, not something to be really boasting about, uh, can be quite helpful in those uh, times in the core raid when you really need to break the dark element type guards and stones of the opponent because well our Liffy is of dark element and uh, she has an attack speed of about 110 points so she pretty much goes fast as well. Alright now it's time to talk about the active skill number 2, required mana 3 mana. Uh, Mike charge it says single target deals 367 percent piercing damage to one single target oh wow that's a lot of damage but the thing is that like there's not really a lot of change okay it's pretty much the same as that before okay <laughs> it's like mm. <laughs> Uh, nothing much really to expect out of this character man, not a really great change indeed. The only change that has been left 
and to her effect is gonna be this little star because these are the effects that you can pretty much easily get in her skill uh, stuffs by just unleashing her potential right away so well I would say the only new effect is little star and the little star itself is not really that amazing stuff out there okay just providing some extra sustenance to a single character that's all there is to it <laughs> provided that the uh, live there are more living alive in the uh, team when the damage was uh, taken from the opponent out there so that is it guys and now it's time to reveal the truth if you're asking me should you be really summoning for this character known as the fateful leffy even though you had been really uh, waiting her for a very long time and the answer is no <laughs> really no she's not really worth the cess but if you are a wifey lover and you really just want to have her anyway then it's really up to you or you might just want to go with like first one or two summons just to try out your luck that's a different case scenario but I would say just by having in your team you are not really going to get some really amazing extra advantage against the opponents uh, see maybe somehow become a little bit helpful in the pvp tag matches because of her second active skill that requires three mana and it's a single target uh, damage 360 per 67 percent piercing damage that's a lot of damage against a single target and that can be quite helpful in order to just knock out knock the shit out of a certain opponent right away but there are other various amazing units like let's say fate core adams uh fate core brook who can actually just uh, fit this role right away so well i would say fate core liffy uh, not really that amazing in uh unit in my opinion what do you guys think about this unit right up here let me know in the comment section below maybe there's something that i'm missing out uh you guys help me to just cover up my ass all right <laughs> so there we go guys anyways uh, as I already told you guys, uh, as a Black Fate Hero unit, uh, she has a 0.7% chance of drop rate. And after 19 multi summons, you can get her for free after that. And now I start talking about the exclusive weapon right over here, guys. The Drilling Cantabile. If you're a beginner, uh, and if you're asking me, should we be really trying to go after this weapon? And I would say, like, not really. No, don't go for it. It's really not worth it. Most of the people say that it's a scam. <laughs> <laughs> That's how bad it is. Uh, the extra effect that you are gonna get for acquiring this exclusive equipment is attack plus 30 points, which is <laughs> nothing. Uh, your combat power is gonna be boosted by 3000 points, which is also <laughs> nothing. So it's totally BS. It's totally bullshit. All right. And the attack stat, attack speed stat, hit stat, it's not really that um, far away from the faded weapons out there. Okay. So pretty much you can get nearly the same stats effects out there. So that's all there is to it. And the worst part about this uh, exclusive equipment is that it also requires 700 cess in order to do one multi summons in this. And there's also a 0.7% chance for this shitty item drum and you can get it for free after 19 core mileage is like what what the hell no <laughs> that is so bad all right so that's all i gotta say to you guys uh don summoner if you really do love your sass uh, if you are really a super duper fan of a waifu unit especially the lowly plus waifu you know like somewhere in middle <laughs> She's somewhere in middle, right? So yeah, if you are a really fan of like those kind of characters who are nearly like a lowly and a waifu unit, uh, you might definitely want to give it a try because her heals, wow, they are pretty sexy, all right? That's all I got to say to you guys. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to keep on joining the contest on my channel. See you guys in the next video.